Pumba, those poor pathetic mooks, trapped into love by Cupid's stupid arrows. You'll never find me acting the fool over some girl. <laughs> Arrow of love, bring this mook to his knees by making him love the first mere cat he sees. <laughs> <laughs> The first mere cat he sees. <laughs> oh, Timon! Look at that big water bug! Where? Ever notice the cute little dimple I get when I smile? The way my nose kind of crinkles up, both when I laugh <laughs> and when I smell you? No, I really hadn't noticed. Pumba, I think I'm in love. Oh. Well, oh, with me. <laughs> You can't be in love with you, Timon! You've known yourself such a long time, and you've always just been good friends! <sighs> That's just it! I've been right here under my own nose the whole time! Do you think I know why like me? Gee, Timon, I guess you must! But will I like me back? Do you think I have a shot at me at all? Well, uh, no one would know that better than you. Pumba, ask me if I like me, but don't let me know I want to know. <laughs> oh, sorry, Timon. That kind of burnt out my brain. I know what I need. I need to spend some time with myself. I love me. I love me not. I love me. I love me not. Well, they say love is a mystery. <laughs> Pumba, the most amazing thing just happened. I asked me for a date and I said yes. Gee, this is exciting, Timon, although it is a little strange. Oh my gosh, I should be here any moment. I can't wait to meet you. You are gonna love me. I'm perfect for me. I understand myself so well. Why, I know what I'm gonna say before I even say it. I'm happy for you, Timon. You're a lucky guy, uh, guys. That must be me.
Sorry! I think it was the snails. You see, I'm mostly used to eating bugs. Oh, hi, Timon! Uh, where's Timon? To tell you the truth, Pumba. I'm not seeing myself anymore. Oh, Pumba, the thrill is gone! <laughs> what happened? Familiarity breeds contempt, Pumba. I finally seen the flaws in myself. Uh, flaws? You? Oh, come on! You're expecting too much from yourself. No, really. Have you ever noticed that ugly dimple I get when I smile? Or the irritating way my nose crinkles up when I laugh and when I smell you? I thought you liked those things about yourself. I used to, Pumba. But now they're driving me crazy! Gee, do you know about this yet? No, Pumba. I haven't had the nerve to tell me. Oh, let's face it. I haven't been honest with myself. I've got that love-hate thing going. I'm just too possessive. I'm stifling me. And worst of all, I don't get my jokes. Whoa, nothing worse than a codependent relationship with yourself. You know, most problems in a relationship have to do with communication. Maybe you should have a little talk with yourself. Good idea, Pumba. Well, Pumba, we've decided the problem isn't me, it's you. Me? But I... That, that, you know what they say, Pumba. Two's company, two's a crowd. <laughs> You mean, you don't want me hanging around anymore? Hey, you can hang around, just not with us. Who needs a bestest best buddy when you've got a good hobby? Pumba, buddy, pal, amigo, please, you've got to help me. I think not, Timon. I've reached a crossroads with myself. I don't know what to do. I refuse to get embroiled in your tawdry little soap opera. <gasps> but, Pumba, it's all going too fast. I asked to meet my parents, but I don't think I'm ready for that kind of commitment. So why don't you just stop seeing yourself? I can't do that. I can't live without me. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time for you and you to get married. Pumba, you're right. Oh, Pumba, will you give me away? Gladly. I got back just in time. Arrow and Blue give this poor Mook a break. We can fall at 11 and correct my mistake. Eh, uh, Pumba, what are we doing? You are about to marry yourself. Can't we find something better to do? Yes, we can. Come on, Pumba, let's go eat some bugs. Something really strange happened to me, didn't it, Pumba? Yes, it did. But you stuck by me anyway, didn't you? Yes, I did, Timon. Thanks. You're a real buddy. You would have made a great best man. Uh, father of the bride. Don't ask. <laughs> 